And that's it. The Browns are winners tonight at MetLife Stadium. And Freddie Kitchens has his first win as the Browns head coach. Let's go get a haircut. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, fellas. That's the way we got to be the rest of the year. It's real tight. All right? That's the only way we're going to be able to do anything is be real tight. I appreciate you guys. We said to each other that we would find out a lot about ourselves after this week, right? Well, I think we did. All right? We need to keep it going. We had mistakes. We'll get those corrected. But you stayed together. That was the key. You stayed together and just kept fighting. They give it to Chubb. He's wide open. He's going to go. Diving in. Touchdown. Here's Mayfield throwing. And it's Bill Dell Beckham Jr. in the clear. Going into the end zone. 10 5. Touchdown. He's arrived. He's going to get muscled down. And Miles Garrett got him. 15 10. And then he fumbled. Loose ball. The Browns have it. I appreciate you. All right. Break it down, Miles. Nice. Real quick, real quick, real quick. All right. We don't have a game ball right here. Okay. All right, but well, first right here, NFL win. Browns on three, one, two, three. Browns! After the Jets win, you know, we were on a short week. It was a Monday night game, so we were on a short week. So, again, it was a different schedule for these guys. So we had to make sure that they were consistent from the standpoint of their preparation, how they uh, met, how they practiced, and try to get back into a normal schedule as much as we could, uh, given it was a short week. Good evening, everybody. This is the place to be tonight. Sunday night football, the first time in 11 years. You know, after we got through some injuries that week, it was like the next man up, you know, because we lost four guys in the secondary, uh, three of them within a 10 minute span. So what they did defensively was tremendous from a coaching standpoint, a playing standpoint. The game's always about the players. They have to go out and execute it, and they did it flawlessly. Kirko, uh, he's a great guy. You know, he's just a guy like that. You know, a guy like that you want to have in your corner. And I appreciate him all the time. Like, I texted him last night and said, I appreciate you. Like, you, you will play through me even though you're not on the field. Like, so I was just like, I got I got big shoes to fill, and I got to continue to play with that intensity, that consistency, you know, as you did when you was on the field. I got to get me one, Kirko. To be without Kersey uh, was definitely a blow. Uh, a great leader, a captain of this team, and uh, he's still been around, which I respect so much. Just really still trying to mentor the guys. Uh, but Max stepped up and played big for us. Turn over this drive. Pick, baby. Pick on the pick. Let's go. Up, oh, man. Let's go. I know you watch it over here. I'm to make a play for you. It was just like, you know, a lot of things was running through my mind. I'm about to make a play for you, huh? My uncle, he had just passed like uh, last week, <clears throat> and I actually that's how, that's why I kind of that's why I missed the practice this week because I had to go back home and go to his funeral. And uh, you know, he always told me every time he saw me, he wanted me to work hard and continue to do great things and just you know be be the guy that I'm supposed to be and. My grandma, she passed when I was in uh, high school. Uh, my two heroes, so it was like, I'm gonna go out and lay it out on the line for, for y'all two. You know, and that's why I, I just kept talking to myself, kept telling myself, like, the grandma, unk, I'm about to make a play, I'm about to catch this interception. And I felt like they was with me last night. Like, they was watching over me, and I'm pretty sure that they're proud. <laughs> I wish I would have caught the interception, of course. Um, I was talking to my girl. I was like, I was like, baby, don't you know that the Rams went to the Super Bowl last year? She was like, no, I didn't know that. I was like, yeah, and I played pretty, I played pretty decent. So it was like, that, that's big time, I felt like. There's no division on this team. We're all in this thing together. I always say it all the time, many parts, one body at work. So there's going to be times where we struggle defensively and the offense is going to have to pick us up. Same thing with special teams. So uh, those guys uh, have our back and we have their back as well. 
Goff, deep drop, back of the pocket, getting hit. That ball came out. Loose ball in the middle of the field, Brown. and the Browns have it. They pick it up at the 30. Oh, Joe Schaubert did it again. I mean, it just speaks to, I think, coaching and the depth uh, on our defense. Uh, everybody's on the same page. We did a good job executing the game plan. Everybody trusted each other. Um, and it paid off in the game. We were able to stop uh, the run game for the most part. We were able to get some turnovers and takeaways and put our team in a position to make some, get some points out of it. The Browns got it! Yes, they do! They have it! They jumped around and T.J. Carey got it! There's always going to be the doubters and the naysayers out there. Those are those are the people that, that give you the energy and, and give you that chip on the shoulder that, nah, I think you're really slighting me, right? You're slighting all of us as a, as a whole, right? We're professional athletes. We go out there and do this time and time again. You know, we got tons of talent on this team, right? Depth is what we have, and depth is what's going to take us deep and deep into the season. Welcome back. I think our defense played unbelievable. Um, you know, they stepped up to the, you know, the challenge. You know, had a couple guys go down. Definitely not ideal, but um, you know, guys rise to the occasion. That's what you want to see. That that next man up mentality that I always talk about. And so uh, it was great to see by them. Special teams played great. Uh, just offensively, we we got to get better. Here they come. They're coming up on fourth down and nine, and they're going to run it. And Chubb takes it over the right side to the 40, and he got hit at the 39 yard line. I mean, the ball was in my hands on fourth and nine, and it's a chance to win the game, so I got to make a play. And I was talking about one person that just kind of stuck with me uh, back in my head going to this Ravens game, and I wasn't going to allow one person to bring me down. And the crowd, which was so revved up all night long, will file out of here pretty quietly as the Browns lose on Sunday night. The Rams beat the Browns with a goal line stand to finish it off. 20 to 13, the final score, the LA Rams win it. Tough night, tough. really a tough, tough night. Let's go, get in here tight, let's go. Tight, 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 let's go. That's where we got to be now. There's a lot of factors that lend itself into clicking to be in, you know, working on all cylinders. Uh, it starts with the people you're playing have a lot to do with that. You gotta find a way to do it better than they do it because everybody's got good plays and everybody's got good coaches. So how do we do it better with game planning, practice, then carrying that over to the game so it looks like you want it to look like. So what you're doing is you're constantly trying to figure out what do we do well, it starts with that. What do we do well? And what can our players execute at a very high level? It is a big game. If the Browns can win here today, they can get right into first place in the division. If you lose, Baltimore suddenly has a two-game lead in the division. It's always special to play division games. This one's special because this is the Baltimore Ravens and they won our division last year. So if we can't beat them, we can't win the division. Freddie has set the tone from day one. It's all about winning our division. Uh, this game is important. We come, we, we get this game, we leave there two and two. All right, we're in first place within our division, and that's what we want to do. Let's go out there today, just to play fun, have fun, like we was kids. Everybody, I know we want to win, man. Play mistake free. Play with your heart, and look up at the end and see where we at. Don't worry about nothing. It's a different time for us now. It's time. It's time to go, though. We ain't got no more time to wait. We ain't got no more time to wait. Let's get it. Don't Let's go, man. This is the count for two, man. Play your ass off, man. Let's go. Grind on three. One, two, three. Gosh. We're fortunate. We have a lot of own it guys on the offense. What I mean by that is they're looking to themselves how they can play better, just like we should as coaches. What, what can we do better? How can we put Baker in a better position to be successful? How can we put our players in a better position to be successful? How can we do things better from a protection standpoint to have the success. So I think we've got a good group in terms of own it, guys.
Hey, go ahead, go ahead. You run the f ball, baby. I know you hungry. I know you fing hungry. Hey, hey. I love you, boy. I love you. Hell yeah. Nick Chubb has a huge role in what we do. What he puts on the field, he's a very prideful young guy, and let alone his skill set, that you're constantly, you know, trying to find ways to get him the ball because he's he's gonna turn a two yard run into a four yard run, a four yard run, a six yard run. If you can get him in space, he's gonna break arm tackles. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like to be a pro. We score, make him throw. It's our game. drive. Do your job every play right here. I think, you know, when adversity hits, uh, it, it's identifying the problem, you know, seeing how we can fix it, and then also seeing the good things we've done so far and expanding on that. Here's Mayfield shuttling the ball off left side, and it's Landry. He's got it at the 15, 10. He's to the 5. He dives for the pylon. What a play right at the line of scrimmage. Throughout the process, you learn what type of team you're going to be. You learn what type of defense or offense you're going to be. And I think we're going to continue to learn uh, who exactly we're going to be and, and, and get better each, each day in that. No! No! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Appreciate you. Yo, listen, hold on. Yo, listen, hold on. Yo, listen, hold on. Yo, the whole staff has been nothing but just hunkering down and, and staying together. And that's crucial because there's going to be ebbs and flows throughout the whole season. You just got to weather the storm when they're bad, recognize what they are, learn from those opportunities, and then move on and you're better because of it each and every time out. I mean, done sure. I mean, I, I scored three touchdowns. Like, it's all right now. Let me let my guy eat. It's time for him to get in and make something happen, which he did, and we won by a lot. You know, the wait is over. You know, we've realized the talent's not going to get us there. Um, that we need to harp on the details execution and just doing our job you know we, we think about the season you split it up into four quarters and this is the final game in the first quarter so to come out the first quarter two and two tied for the division lead um, you know we're, we're sitting obviously not where we ideally wanted to be but it's something to build off of and to continue to get better I think you know a division opponent and division rival is a great place to start I said I'm good <laughs> I'm good let me eat let them eat our goals are still in front of us we haven't lost out on anything I said it after the first game, there's no need to panic. We had a tough training camp for a reason. We knew that there was gonna to be tough physical games ahead, and that's to prepare us for that. The goal is to play well enough to win the game. That's all, and that's what we're striving to do. All right, let's know, guys. <laughs> all I wanna do is tell you guys this. This is a team. Damn right. All right. Offense, defense, special teams. Everybody did your job. Mm -hmm. And that's what the game of football is about. We ain't done yet. All we've done is won a game on the road. That's it. But it was a division game. All right. And we understand that too. We got to learn from this one just like we did last week. But I think everybody sees what we can be. I can't tell you enough, fellas, how much I appreciate you. They doubt you all they want. We'll sort through our problems together. All right, does everybody understand that? See y'all soon. Yeah! Yeah! For more great Browns videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button below.